Hello all, in the last session what we have learned is we have learned couple of basic plots. So let us go ahead and try to understand some, some crazy things like what is a histogram. So first let us understand what is a histogram. Later on we will touch upon what is a scatter plot. Again let us try to relate it with a real world example. Again in Zomato, as we are working on the Zomato data set, so in Zomato we have one of the feature as rating or rate. So imagine I have all the ratings in a, in a list, let us say 2.1, 2.2, 4.7, 3.6, so on so forth. Let us say I have 10 million ratings, total 10 million ratings, imagine. So the moment I say can you plot the histogram, so histogram typically means if you have to show the distribution of this rate feature or if you have to show a distribution of any feature, again that feature must be a continuous and numerical or you can say a continuous numerical in nature. That is a must condition for a histogram. Just like we have age of the persons because age is something that is continuous in nature and of course numerical. So at the end of the day, histogram typically returns the distribution of a feature. So the moment I say you, okay, can you compute the total restaurants count which lie between let us say 2.0 to let us say 2.5. Of course, this is a rating. I can say, okay, can you compute the count of the total hotel or total restaurants which have a rating that lie between this? Or can you compute the count, the total hotels that, that lie between this range? That is where you can think of using histogram. So if I say that, okay, if I say that, okay, imagine this, this is a, this is a simple histogram. So I can say, okay, this, this is the one bar, this is the another bar. This is the another bar we have. This is the one bar. This is the one bar. So on and so forth. Here I am rating as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here I have all the values. On y axis, I have typically count. Typically count. Here I have count as let us say uh, 1k, 2k, and so on and so forth. So the moment I ask you, okay, what is the count of the hotel that have a rating between 2 to 3? So this is a simple thing. This is simple thing you can say okay let's say the count is 40k this is this is extremely simple very basic so whenever you have to showcase the distribution of any feature of or distribution of any continuous numerical feature it's always good to think for a histogram again one immediate doubt that mattering in your mind is okay it's good this is a histogram but we have learned that we have learned that in bar plot we have we have also bar so is there any difference between a bar plot and histogram? Again, histogram is defined especially in case of a feature is numerical in nature. It means it have all the real values. But the bar plot is defined if a feature is categorical in nature. It means feature have some categories. Because in the previous use case, if I will talk with back to booking table, here we have a categories as yes and no. That's why we have think for a bar plot instead of a histogram. That is the basic difference between both. Cool. Let us understand that what exactly is a scatter chart. So I will say okay, let us learn what is a scatter chart. So again, in general, a scatter chart is used when you have to find a relationship between feature. That is a rule of thumb. So imagine, imagine, of course, there is a must condition for the scatter plot that both features must be numerical in nature. This is the must condition for scatter plot. So imagine you have to find that okay is there any relationship between my rating is there a relationship between my rating and the cost of food that we have. Is there any relationship between both the feature that is where you can think of using scatter plot. Because the moment I say okay I say okay in rate I have values as 1, 2, 2.2 so on and so forth. Cost of food is let us say 100 INR and let us say 200 INR, 800, 2000 and so on so forth. Let us say I have, I have let us say 1 million entries. Moment I ask, okay, can you find a relationship between our rating and cost of food? So the moment I say that, okay, I need a scatter plot. It means the data points are scattered over here, depending upon the values we have in the data. So imagine this is a basic scatter chart. On X axis, what we have is we have all the rating. On Y axis, we have the cost of food. 
so here i have value that let's say one two three four here we have value that let's say hundred two hundred and so on so forth so if i say that okay my first my first observation is my 100 it means rating is one cost is 100 either so it means this is the data point similarly we have lots of data points having different different observation so the moment i ask you okay is there any relationship between this kind of part you can say okay i am able to figure out some kind of relationship now look at this we have approximately close to a linear trend over here approximately close to it means the moment the moment the rating of any restaurants gets increased then its approximately cost also gets increased that's a simple conclusion that you can find from the simple chart that you have simple analysis not rocket science thing because what we have done is we have all the pairs having rate and cost of food we have simply plotted and we have simply come up with some 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 with some meaningful conclusion so now let's have a code walk through so if i need a histogram of our feature let's say of rate feature i can say okay again there are, there are two ways you can think of using your pix module here we have function as my histogram look at this this is a simple function that we have but let's think for our graph objects so here we have a function as our histogram look at this this is our histogram function the moment i press shift plus tab over there these are all the custom parameters that you can think of i will say okay i have to mention our rating features so i can say as df of rate let me just execute this line of code look at this these are all the array that you have now what i say i can say okay let's store all these things in data let me execute that and let's use the pipe let's use the i plot and here let's mention data let me execute it now this is a simple histogram you have now look at this if i will if i will say as look at this this is my 3.7 the count is 405 this is my 3.8 the count is 3 to 7 it means it is a simple frequency table or it is a simple distribution of a numerical feature simple distribution here i have a rating as 3.9 the count is 419 extremely simple similarly if i need let's say if i need a scatter plot so i can say as okay px dot scatter look at this these are all the inbuilt functions available in my plotly express let's go with this scatter so i will say as okay on x axis what i need is i need rate okay okay so i will say as df dot head of two let me execute it so this is my rate feature and on y axis what i what i have to pass is i have to pass our approx cost so i will say as okay this is a feature that i have to pass on y axis then I say as okay, my data frame is nothing but my data frame is nothing but my TF. So I will say as my data frame is all about nothing but TF. Because the moment I press shift plus F over there, look at this. We have a parameter as data frame. Hence we have to mention as data frame equals to TF. And the moment I will execute this line of code. And if I will scroll to blue, look at this. This is a simple scatter chart we have. Simple. So if I will hover my mouse over here, look at this. We have a rating as 4.2, approximately cost is 3000. Similarly, rating is 4.4, approximately cost is 2500. Of course, this is an Indian currency, not a US dollar. Now, from this scatter plot, the meaningful insight that I can find is I can say, okay, in general, this is that area where my most of the data point lies. So I can say, okay, it seems that most of the restaurants. Imagine, imagine this is a threshold value. I will say, okay, most of the restaurants are under budget. Most of the restaurants provide food that is average in price, irrespective of what rating of the restaurant is. This is a simple inference that you can find from that. So that's all about this session. Thank you. Have a nice day. Keep learning, keep growing, keep practicing.